Hello and thanks for tuning in to another Braille Note Touch Snapshot video. My name is Greg Stilson. I'm HumanWare's Product Manager of Blindness Products. In this video we're going to walk through the process of creating, uh, reviewing, and deleting a appointment in your planner, in your calendar. Now remember the Braille Note Touch's calendar, just like its contacts and its email, uh, is synchronized across the board with any device that you're going to be using. And the nice thing is that it'll synchronize with any IMAP, uh, Gmail, Exchange account that you want to use. So it makes the device extremely powerful in pretty much any setting uh, with any type of user that's going to be using it. So whether you're a student, just a, a person using it for leisure or a blind professional, uh, the Braille Note Touch is an extremely valuable tool in any setting. So what we're going to do is from the main menu, I'm going to press P for planner. And remember, I'm just using touch Braille. I'm going to type directly on the glass. I'm going to lay my finger on the fingers on the glass so it's recognized. I get a quick vibration. I'm going to type a P for planner. Planner, key plan. And I'm going to press enter. Key plan. Thomas Jefferson's birthday, April 13th, 2016, all day. Okay, and it's saying that today is Thomas Jefferson's birthday, April 13th. And we can review the agenda here. If I press the next, let's see what my next appointment is. Weekly marketing meeting, April 13th, 2016, 10 a.m., minus 10.30 a.m. Okay, well, we have a weekly marketing meeting here in a few minutes, so I better hurry up and get this video done. <laughs> so um, what we're going to do is review how to create an appointment. So I'm going to press space with M. Context menu. And... New appointment is the first option. New appointment, space with N. Space with N. And so the next time I ever want to do that, I can just press space with N anywhere, and it'll create a new appointment. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to press Enter now. Subject, new appointment. And the first thing it does is it puts me in the subject field. It says subject. So we'll call this a test appointment. Test. And I'm just typing as if I was typing on physical keys. And typing in contracted braille test appointment, I'm going to press enter. All day checkbox, not checked. And you heard that lowering tone that said that we had left edit mode. Now remember, the braille note touch can use first letter navigation anywhere to jump to any item on the screen immediately. It makes you an extremely efficient user of this product as you don't need to know where buttons and items are located. You can use it just like you always have with Keysoft on the Braille note. So first letter navigation is extremely powerful. At this stage we've left edit mode and I'm not going to make this an all day appointment so I'm going to press the next thumb key or the far right thumb key to move to the next item. Start month edit box 4. Okay and we'll make a, an appointment for today so it says start month 4. Start day edit box 13. Start day is 13. Start your edit box 2016. 2016. I'm just pressing next. Start our edit box 10. Let's set this for 11. So I'm going to activate this item. Start our edit box, 10. And Computer I'm going to required. delete Five. this by just pressing backspace. Zero deleted. And it said computer braille is required. So I'm going to press uh, a 1, which is a dot 2. So there we go. I'm going to press enter, 11. Start minute edit box, 00. zero. 11 o'clock. I'm going to press enter again. Okay. And it says AM. Now, if I wanted to change this, I could just press Enter, and it would change to PM. But you heard the lowering tone. I don't see a cursor on my display, so now I'm out of edit mode. I'm going to press the next thumb key. End month edit box, four. And it's just, well, we're End continuing to press 15. next, because we're going to be in End the year same box, day. 2016. End year 2016. End box, 11. 11. End month edit box, Actually, let's make this 12 o'clock. So I'm going to activate it again by pressing Enter. End our edit box, 11. Computer Braille is required. You hear Computer Braille is required. You heard the rising tone to tell us that we're in edit mode. So now I'm going to delete this one. by pressing backspace. Deleted. I deleted the 1, and I'm going to replace it with a 2 by pressing that's 2, 3 for the Computer Braille 2, 12. And I'm going to edit box, 30. And I'm going to delete this by pressing backspace, and I'm going to type in 0, 0, and press Enter. And button. And it still says AM. Now, because we changed this to 12 o'clock, I need to change it to PM. So I'm going to press Enter on AM. PM. And it says PM, so that's perfect. I'm going to hit Next. Location edit box. Location. This will be a phone call. Location edit box. So I'm going to just type in phone, P-H-O-N-E. I type that in contracted Braille. And you know that because it didn't say computer Braille is required. And I see two dots for my cursor rather than just one. So I'm going to press Enter. Description edit box. Description will just say this is a test. A test. I type that on the glass just as fast as I would type on a physical keyboard. I'm going to press enter. 
At this point now, it's asking which calendar do you want to do this. I'm going to press Enter to activate it. Showing two items. And I'm going to change it to my exchange account by pressing Enter. New appointment. And I'm going to press Next. You can edit a repeating pattern if you like. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to press Next again. Invite people. Add emails separated by Invite people. Boss. At this stage, I could invite people's emails, or I could choose to uh, add from contacts button. Add from contacts if I wanted to. So I'm just repeatedly pressing next. Okay button. And you see the OK button. At this stage, I could have. If I go to the top of the screen right now. By pressing Genetic space, box. one, two, three, you see I jumped all the way to the top. Now, because I'm not in edit mode, if I knew that I was done, let's say I didn't want to fill in all that stuff, I could just press O okay button. and jump straight to the OK button. It makes it extremely simple to save your contact or your, uh, your, your calendar appointment. So I'm going to press Enter. And it's now saving the okay. appointment. Mother's Day, May 8th, 2016. And now it's moved me to a different date because of the Notification. creation of the appointment. At this point, I'm going to press space with T, which is the toggle to jump directly to today. So space with T. Thomas Jefferson's birthday, April 15th, It's moved me to today, and I'm going to press next. Weekly marketing right, we still got that weekly mar marketing meeting. I'm going to press next again. There's that test appointment. And if I press enter on this, subject, test appointment. I can review my information. Start April 13th, 2016, 11 a.m. Next again. And I'm April pressing 13th, my next thumb key. 12 p.m. Location, phone. Description, this is a test. Next again. Edit button. Delete button. And I could choose to delete this just by hitting the delete button. I'm going to activate that now. Key plan. Agenda. Thomas Jefferson's birthday. Test binder touch run April 15th, 2016. And apparently it didn't delete it, so I'll do the command to delete it by pressing backspace with 2356. Alert key plan. Are you sure you want to delete this appointment? And Cancel. I'm going to hit okay. O for OK. okay. And key it's plan. now deleting it. Thomas Jefferson's oh, we'll April make sure 15th, it's gone. I'm going to hit next again. April 13th. Blindness weekly meeting April 18th, and it is gone at that stage. It's no longer there. So I'm going to go back to main menu. And I hope this video has uh, been useful to you on how to create, edit, and delete appointments in KeyPlan. We'll talk to you soon in an upcoming Braille Note Touch snapshot video.